Story time every night, every night. Once upon a time, somewhere under the ocean, there lived a young octopus. He spent most of his time alone. But then, one day, the shark showed up. As they both were alone, so they decided to be friends. But for being friends, the shark asked octopus to let him eat one of the octopus's hands. As the octopus were so alone, and he really wanted to have a friend, so he let him to eat one of his arms. Every day that week, they play together. They explore caves, build castle of sand, and swim really, really fast. And every night, the shark would be hungry, and octopus would give him another one of his arms to eat. Any time the shark came hungry, he asked for one the octopus's arms for eat. And as expected, the octopus gave one of his arms away for not being alone, and saved his friendship. One day, after playing all day, shark told octopus that he was very hungry. Octopus said, "I don't understand. I've already given you six of my arms, and now you want more." The shark looked at him with a friendly smile and said. I don't want. This time, I want to eat you completely. Octopus said, "But why?" And the shark replied, "Because that's what friends are for." When the shark finished his meal, he felt very sad and lonely. He missed having someone to explore caves, build castle, and swim really, really fast with. He missed the octopus very much, so he swam away to find another friend. Sometimes we do the same thing in our relationships, just to feel that someone loves us. We allow sharks to enter our lives that slowly destroy the loving parts of us. It is painful. But we continue until we don't have any good things and loving feelings to ourselves, and maybe we even hate ourselves. As we wanted the shark to stay with us, we sacrifice parts of ourselves and give it away to not be alone. But eventually, we get tired and end the relationship. The shark probably moves on to its new prey, and we assume that it is no hope for making an intimate relationship with others. This story can have a worse ending. Someone who has hurt us for years comes back and says, "I miss you." When you look at the past. There are some sharks in my memories that says to me, "Hello, shall I come back?"